Hello there. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the AI Canvas tools in Leonardo AI and specifically how to use the mask and erase in the AI image editor. What you're going to do first is upload the image that you want to use. You can obviously use your previous or community generations, but you can also use real life images if you want. For this example, we're just going to be using this one. Or actually, we're going to be using something else. Now, what we're going to try first is extending the image. For example, just select half of the image and in your prompt, type same background and hit generate. What this does is it just extends the image and you can see that it made us some pretty good examples we can use. Keep in mind that it will only generate four or less images for now. If you like any of these, what you're going to do is just hit the accept button and it will add it onto your image. We can do this again, but down here, just type same background and hit it again. Select any one of these and hit accept. Keep in mind, you can also cancel if you don't like any of these and start over again. To use the draw mask feature, what this basically does is it just colors on the canvas onto your image. For example, I'm just going to create a small blob over here. And now you can drag this box over again. What we want here is cow. So it just generates a cow onto the image. You can obviously use more in-depth prompts and change up fine-tuned model to generate better results. But this is pretty sufficient if you're just trying to get along. Just select any one of these or you can cancel obviously if you don't like any. The other feature is the erase feature. What this basically does is it just drills a hole into your image. For example, you want to remove this cow. And now it just deleted it from the image. And now you can see that only the background is left, which is the transparent background in the back of Leonardo AI. To fix this up, what you're just going to do is drag the box over again and type in any prompt. For example, same background. And you can see it fills out the image that we cut out. You can obviously do this with real life images too. But that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.